I would like to apologize to the family and friends of Rodney Court. Um, I'm truly sorry for taking Rodney away from them. Sorry for all the pain that I've caused. Um, <coughs> Rodney was an innocent man, and no, in, in no way did he deserve to have his life taken away by me. Um, I know that no amount of words or apologies can lessen the pain that I've caused or reverse any of the damage that I've done. Um, I'm not even sure that an, an apology is something that can make them feel any better, but I feel it's the least that I can offer. As an adult, I realize just how horrible my actions were, and I also realize that no one deserves to suffer the loss of a loved one the way that they have. Um, I won't attempt to make any excuses for my actions. To take a person's life is the worst thing that anyone can do. Um, if given the opportunity to earn my freedom, I do plan to serve the community as much as I can. Um, although there's no way for me to reverse the damage that I've done, um, I plan to volunteer as much time as I can helping others. You know, that's how I plan to honor Rodney and atone for the innocent life that I took. I'm truly sorry for all the pain that I've caused everyone. I think you're my last juvenile that I'm resentencing. I think I've done 12 altogether of these. I can say these are probably the most difficult things that I've ever done. I've spent uh, literally hundreds of hours, days, weeks, reading, uh, looking at, at reports, reviewing everything that's been submitted by prosecutors and defense attorneys. Now you certainly have matured and changed your life around. That does not in any way um, justify releasing you at this point in time, nor can I under the existing law, but it tells me that you have changed. I listened very carefully when you testified. I found that you testified in very honestly, that your remorse was genuine and sincere. And I've listened to other uh, people in hearings like this testify and did not have that impression under any circumstances.